Hey, welcome back to the channel. Divine timing, we are rising. I am your messenger, Shira, and I am back with another divinely guided, intuitive channel message just for you collective. So remember to take what resonates and absolutely leave the rest, okay? This is going to be a general all signs reading. Um, so again, take what applies and let the rest fly, all right? So happy Friday, you all. Um, though I know um, we all shall triumph in the end, the start of this month, although it started positively at first, there were some people who seen that. They seen that we were optimistic. They seen that we were excited. They see, they, excuse me, they seen, oh God. They seen, <laughs> they seen that we were enthusiastic about you know, the month of March, because this is Miracle March. This is Marvelous March. This is Miraculous March, okay? Anything is bound to happen in March as long as you continue to stay on this frequency and vibration. There are motherfuckers right now who thought that they were going to stop you. They did something to you, or they will do something to you all within the coming days. And they're going to be stuck like Chuck wondering, like, wait, why isn't this person reacting or responding in the way in which um they normally would have or whatever i feel like a lot of you are just really nonchalant right now a lot of you are just really protecting your energy right now um if it's not about you know um benefiting and assisting with your greater good and assisting with the launching of you you know um transitioning into your higher self and you all aren't for any small talk you're not for any low vibrational bullshit right now and people can sense and feel that which is why they were sending that black magic your way yeah spirit is like yeah that's the truth that is the truth evil lion but you know you guys are protected by the divine the most high creator of all things the ancestors your spirit guides your angels and all that jazz you all are definitely protected okay All right, what's going on? What is on the spiritual roster for Friday? Okay. I'll take these cards, put the rest down. <clears throat> All right, so we have authenticity. Live for you and not the audience in your head. All right? Absolutely. A lot of you have come out of a period of being a people pleaser. You all were accepting all types of different treatments only to be accepted by people who didn't love themselves so it was impossible for them to truly love you a lot of you are definitely well out of that stage and phase of your life you all have totally transformed and catapulted into a new being and there are individuals there are entities um low vibrationals who sense and see that which is why they always try to send magic your way to deplete you of your energy they want you to be where they are mentally, emotionally, and physically even. All right? You all are building. Even if you're taking slow and steady steps, take those slow and steady steps. You may not can see the full picture all right now, but it's not meant for you to see it. If we were meant to... Um, if we were meant to have all of the answers, life would come with a manual. Life would come with a guidebook <laughs> at this point. You know, we are learning as we're going, okay? We're healing day to day, every day. It is a process, okay? It's not just something. Um, as I mentioned in the video that I am waiting for to uh, finish uploading, it's like a 56 minute video. So I would greatly appreciate if you guys check that reading out because it gets very, very deep. It gets personal, it gets passionate, it gets raw, it gets real. But I mentioned, you know, um, all of the trauma, the drama, and the different events and scenarios that took place in our lives and the different things that we were subjected to and that perhaps we even subjected other t others to um a lot of that has a tendency of you know returning when we are on this healing journey when we are bettering ourselves when we are you know on a different frequency and vibration when we have a different perspective about the different events that took place in our life Okay, exactly. So a lot of you have definitely just released the old. You have definitely released what no longer serves you. This could be people, places, or things. Okay, we have pamper. 
self-care i'm going to continue to say this one because i really like this one so self-care is a necessity not a luxury so taking care of yourself pampering yourself pouring into yourself choosing to love yourself is um is a necessity okay it's a well wait what did it say hold on it's a necessity definitely exactly exa okay i was right <laughs> Um, yeah, stop questioning yourself. Spirit would like me to add that. Stop questioning and doubting yourself. You you got it. All right. But anyway, um, self-care is a necessity. You know, it is what we need. It is a tool that we need uh, to to propel forward on our journeys, you know, um, our journeys just towards towards our greater good, you know, towards our higher selves and really just seeing the grand scheme of things so to speak okay so the um let's see because we have truth authenticity release and pamper okay so those are going to be the main and overall energies um for the start of the reading okay so spirit guides most high creator of all things ancestors uh, I pull this okay so wow all right so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these because they just came out in the card that that's at the top is like okay wow so <clears throat> the pain of it all okay so you all can be trapped in your head about the pain of it all the truth that you all have come come into you know um and the pain of it all could be stagnating you all it could continuously keep you in cycles and situations they can keep you behaving in certain ways that do not match up with what the most high has for you okay so a lot of you could be very well pondering on the pain of it all the pain of perhaps the the you know the affairs of your life you know uh the state of your life everything that you've been through but spirit is saying you know it is time to release all right, it is time to release that pain. It is time to release the past and realize that you have a future, you have a present awaiting you now that you can you can work in the present towards your greater good, you know, don't get to future tripping now. All right, but there's someone here that is in the energy of, listen, I don't give a fuck anymore. Okay, if that's you, um, divine feminine and or divine masculine, whoever it is that I'm speaking to, I just want you all to know that, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel okay there is a light you are the light in the darkness okay you can be authentic truthful and honest with yourself okay you don't have to give up all right we have a uh, ratchet bitch so that just sh that just sh <laughs> shifted fast <laughs> but yeah someone um perhaps could be dealing with a ratchet bitch i don't know maybe someone's calling you a ratchet bitch i don't know why they'd be calling the divine feminine a ratchet bitch ratchet where okay sound like a whole lot of projections going on all right speaking of we have astral projection and right behind that we have traveling to the astral during REM sleep so for a lot of you, uh, currently your dreams, you know, the dream state could be very significant. That's where you're getting a lot of your messages. That's when, uh, that's where you're getting a lot of truths being revealed, you know, a lot of revelations. So definitely if you can try to write down, you know, put it in your phone, in your notes, as soon as you wake up, if you remember just anything that you remember, that's peculiar or odd or strange or what you may deem out of place just write down and, and take record of what it is that you see in your dreams okay the people that you see all right because it's all going to tie into um the grand scheme of things you know the end all right so wow <laughs> so we got some some mini confirmation here i would say so uh we have the dm asking the divine feminine damn you be on point how you know so I'm certainly channeling a divine masculine's energy, uh, thoughts at this time. This could be your person's thoughts. Perhaps they see you being very um, intuitive, like you call certain shit out and then it happens. Or like they just have a sense that like, 
Yeah, they, they just have, they're definitely pulling on, on your intuitive energy. Like, they know that you know something, you know? So. Speak your mind. Hold back for no one. Absolutely. Speak your mind. We are not in the season of um, being timid and, and playing around uh, with our energy and or our spirit. All right. We're going to speak our mind. We are going to speak our truth and nothing but. And um, we are going to accept the things that we cannot control. All right. But in the end, we're still going to do our greatest shit. Yeah. While remaining very high vibrational. A lot of you are in very high vibrational spirits at this time. Okay, even in the midst of spiritual warfare and spell work and black magic that is sent your way, a lot of you are still, you know, you may be bothered for quite a second. I'm not saying that you guys are invincible and untouchable like that. You're very untouchable spiritually, period. But all I'm saying is there will be some sort of effects that you can notice and realize when you are um, under attack, all right? But in spite of it all, you guys are remaining very high vibrational and um, you all will be rewarded for that spirit is saying like, don't think for a second that all of this is going unnoticed. You know, the spirit guides are watching your, your ancestors, the angels, the creator of all things. All right. You, you are very protected. You are very protected. And this is why these people need to realize who the fuck it is that they are fucking with. You cannot be fucked with. All right. But they don't see that and they don't know it yet. They want to keep playing with you. But a lot of them have been warned. They exactly your ancestors have been astral projecting in, in their dreams. OK, you could be watching your ancestors kick the shit out of their asses in the astral. OK, we have steady grounds. So, yeah, this person definitely wants to come on steady grounds with you. Um, I think realistically, this is just the energy I'm picking up on just based off of what the both of you have going on um in your lives you know just the immense amount of healing that still needs to be done on both parts on you um on your part divine feminine and on the divine masculine's part you know and this is also divinely ordained so don't think for a second that it is taking too long or what have you because it's all going to fall together in divine timing okay but Due to the amount of work that still needs to be done within you all, the clearing out, okay, and the letting go and breaking away and freeing yourself from, um, I'm being divinely led to let you guys know that, you know, you all may come to an agreement that perhaps maybe even if you guys don't take it to the next level, if you guys can just come to a conversation, you know, maybe if you guys can have an evening together, you know, sp just spend some time together and just kind of talk, you know, talk about life, talk about the future, you know, um, put some things out on the table, clear the negative air, you know, clear the tension, okay? Because, um, like I said, there is some unfinished business here. As I said in a previous reading, there is some unfinished business here between you and your person. Um, but you all are just being called to, you know, um, continue to live in your truth, seek the truth, be authentic, you know, release what is not for you, pamper yourself, both you and your divine masculine and or your divine counterpart are certainly um, taking care of yourselves during this time. You know, your divine masculine is definitely pamper them, pampering themselves, perhaps, you know, going to get haircuts, you know, just taking care of themselves, buying themselves like nice clothes or nice shoes and, you know, just really pouring into themselves and doing what makes them feel good and letting go of bad habits and behaviors that ultimately leave them in a funk and leave them feeling fucked up. And the same applies to you. You all are definitely taking heed to this energy as well. Okay, so I just felt, sorry, I didn't mean to like drag it out, but I, I just felt called to, um, you know, let you all know that. So even if you guys don't necessarily come into a union, you guys don't necessarily elope or get married right you know, when you guys come out of this separation, just take it easy, you know, take it, take it slow. A lot of you, you both have a lot of healing to do, but the most important aspect of it all that I'm being called to let you guys know is there, there just needs to have a conversation. It's just a heart to heart conversation that would lead. And what I'm picking on, it will lead to a wild night of passion. I mean, a wild night of passion, like because the two of you will finally be open and vulnerable with one another. The two of you, what I'm seeing, what I'm visualizing is you guys 
you won't have a mask you won't feel the need to lie to one another you guys can look into one another's eyes and be honest you know you can be loving caring and understanding and you can be empathetic towards one another again you all share pieces and parts of each other's soul you know especially for those of you who know that this is your twin flame you know continue to wish well for your twin flame you don't want to send negative or hateful energy towards your twin flame you know because all that's going to do is bring that energy back to you in some way, odd way or the other okay this is really spiritual and because of this divine connection and because of the level of it it is just very important to realize that this this steady grounds is, is approaching but it may not be what a lot of you expect or maybe what that person is expecting Maybe, like I said, it's a mutual thing that both of you realize work needs to be done. But there can be some understanding that you guys can come to, perhaps. All right. What was intended to destroy you built you into a boss? Exactly. All of the black magic, all of the spell work, all of the gossiping, all of the slandering, all of those people who may or may have not, like, a lot of you, I'm talking to people who were, like, underdogs. I'm talking to people who were perhaps, like, like maybe you were bullied in the past. You felt left out. You maybe felt like you weren't enough. People, you know, belittled you. They, they, they mocked you. They laughed at you. They made fun of you. But all of that which was intended to destroy you and break your spirit permanently, that built you up into a boss. And that built you up into having a heart of gold. Because of who and what treated you bad in the past, whether this happened in childhood or um, your adolescence or early adulthood, what have you, this could have happened in work, school, college, just period wherever you went you just found that people were always trying to like pick on you pick at you you know start a fight with you anyways all of that was intended to destroy you but anyway it didn't it didn't destroy you at all it built you into a motherfucking boss you're a beast a lot of you are, are lions you know lionesses you guys don't fucking play you know and um people are seeing that now all right we have breaking even so a lot of you could have made some bad investments in the past, whether you or your person. Um, this could definitely have something to do with money. You know, you were probably very reckless with your spending, very reckless with your money habits, not really having a great relationship with money. But it was just all about shifting the mindset. You know, um, it's not about holding on to money for dear life, but it's about being conscious and um, very decisive when spending money. You don't just want to spend recklessly and just expect like a windfall of abundance if you don't have that again um as i mentioned in the previous video that you guys will see i also talk about you know aligning your energy your emotions your thoughts okay your beliefs with okay you know what i'm worthy of say for example i'm worthy of a million dollars so i'm gonna walk around as if i'm a millionaire because i am a millionaire you know people when you when you talk like that people look at you like this motherfucker crazy you don't have a million dollars no you don't have a million dollars because you don't think it's possible for you, which is why you're projecting that onto me. I know that it is possible for me. I know what I have within me. A lot of you are already spiritual royalty. Okay, but um, this breaking even here is just letting me know that a lot of you are definitely going to, um, you're going to get all of that back and more, Spirit is saying. So just take it easy. Continue to focus on self. Take care of yourself. All right. We have Nicka, please. <laughs> so um, this could be your energy for sure. Uh, this could, you just like, whatever, like, nigga, whatever. All right, but we have some mind games. So perhaps you may still be hung up on the mind games that this person um, wants, you know put you through subjected you to so now you're just in this nigga please energy like uh talk to the hand because the face don't want to hear you but low-key deep inside you're like baby come back, back, back. <laughs> so it's like you guys are mirroring each other but it's like deep down inside you're, you're both like probably anxiously checking your phones like oh okay this is the day they finally buckle down and hit me up and then you look at your phone and they're like oh man so then you try to go along you try to act like everything's okay and it's really not it's like <laughs> it's funny y'all trust me i know what it is i know what it is all right yeah y'all some power trips you could be on a power trip your person can be on a power trip all right this karmic energy 
um, that I'm picking up on right now could be on a, a power trip. Yeah, mood swings. You could be having mood swings because this person who you're still vibrationally and spiritually connected to, when they have mood swings, you guys have mood swings. Like the like, I just I'm picking up on like a irritated energy because you guys are like holding back like you're also holding on to the pain then you guys go into a mood of like oh i don't give a fuck and then you go back to thinking about this person it's just a lot of fucking shit going on in the in the fucking astral it's a lot going on in the spiritual it's a lot going on in the fucking 3d physical it's so much going on you guys energetically i'm not kidding this is a lot <clears throat> you ain't gotta do what they do <clears throat> nope you ain't got to do what they do. You don't have to be a follower. You don't have to try to be like anybody else. You don't got to try to fit in with the crowds, fit in with the Joneses. You can stand apart and be you. And this person appreciates that about you. So. <clears throat> All right. Any other messages for the Divine Collective, the Divine Feminine, and the Divine Masculine? Any other, anything else the Divine Masculine would like to say to the DF? Anything else? All right. <laughs> I love her because she got her own. Period. She got her own. I love her because she got her own. She got her own. Love that song. But yeah. They love you because you got your own, Divine Feminine. They love you because... You speak your mind, you hold back for no one, um, you're high vibrational, and you ain't got to do what they do, period. <clears throat> and for that, because you're authentic, exactly, because if you're always, you're in, in the world full of all these other motherfuckers that follow the crowd, that follow the sheeple, here you are standing out. Mm -hmm. Here you are standing out, okay, creating your own trends, creating your own movements, you know, uh, riding off your own clout. You ain't trying to ride nobody else's wave but your own. And this person fucking that fucks with you because of that. <laughs> so, yeah. I love her cause she got her own. She got her own. <clears throat> Alright, we have gotta do better. So this person was in an energy for a while until they decided to release certain things. They're like, you know what? I got to do better. This could have also been your energy. All right. Here's your confirmation. They have grown a lot. For some of you, your person has definitely grown a lot. All right. They have watched you grow over the months, the years, the weeks, what have you. I, well, I'm definitely picking up on like maybe years or months. But yeah, they have watched you grow over time and um, it has inspired them to want to do the same. So yeah, we have taking my chances, fuck it. So this could be your energy. This is definitely like mutual energy. Uh, you could just feel like, look, I'm gonna take my chances towards this person, fuck it, you know? All right, we have blackmail. So I'm also getting energy towards like, Perhaps someone is trying to blackmail this person about something. Or in the past, they threatened this person with blackmail, but this person has released the fear to whatever these energies was holding over their head. They're just like, okay, well, okay. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck anymore, period. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they're like, I don't give a fuck anymore. All right, hold whatever the fuck you want to hold over my head. Say what the fuck ever you want. That's not going to stop me, period. You think it's going to stop me, but it's not. I'm still going to keep fucking going. And that's what the fuck your person is on now. They're like, look, bitch, you can have the you can have a power trip all the fuck you want to. You could think you're doing something all the fuck you want to, because in the end, I'm going to break even. Okay, this person knows that. All right. In the end, this person knows that what was meant to destroy them is, is turning them into a boss and because they're watching you turn into a boss. All right. They, they're really growing. They really are. Yeah. Somebody want to blackmail and sabotage your person. They want to have your person stuck up in their head. They want to have your person stuck in at the nine of uh, swords energy. Yeah. Depleted, depressed, having nightmares, uh, can't sleep at night. 
all right they want your person to be codependent on them this could be a friend group this could be a this could be a family member this could be a karmic lover karmic feminine masculine take the word resonates but yeah this these people are trying to blackmail your person but your person's like i don't give a fuck i will tell my my fucking truth myself i don't give a fuck period you and your person have made a truce so there will be a truce you all will come to common ground steady grounds all right um and i'm hearing like this person is going to be very very loyal to you like this person is really going to honor you like once you all come out of this separation and you do the the necessary continued healing work on both parts um from the inside out and truly just releasing abolishing and building healthy boundaries and values and belief systems you all are definitely going to um make a strong pact and truce to uh, always be truthful and authentic to one another you know and to always release what no longer serves you all so that you guys can always remain on this high vibrational state sure things are going to come up against us in life but shit we ain't supposed to let that shit keep us down for years and years. We ain't supposed to let that shit turn us into fucking alcoholics, sex addicts, um, fucking drug addicts, and, and, and fucking uh, shopaholics and, and vain narcissistic motherfuckers. Because that's what happens with a lot of these people that are become karmics or they just become depressed or whatever the case is. That is what happens. You know? But yeah, like I said... A lot of you are going to make a truce with a truce with this person. Reversal. Yeah, all that black magic, spell work, voodoo, hoodoo, whatever these retarded motherfuckers are turning to. Excuse my language, but I just gotta, I have to get it out. Because these motherfuckers is really retarded. Like, they gotta be goddamn stupid to think that they can fucking fuck with the divine feminine. Like, are you dumb? Yes, this is a toxic parent take it where it resonates this could be a this could be your toxic mother or your toxic father that's low-key cuckoo for cuckoo puffs and needs to go fucking get in a goddamn lord have mercy let me not let me not okay shot caller yeah because they know that you're you were born to be a motherfucking shot caller all right you was born to be the motherfucking trendsetter of the family you was born to be the motherfucking generational curse breaker you was born to be the motherfucker that shined truth on the motherfucking family and you was the one to call it out all right you was the one to be fucking authentic brave courageous all right faithful and really a true believer in the most high these motherfuckers talk a good talk but is it really walking the walk I'll wait. Exactly. They sitting behind the scenes, straddling the fence, straddling the fence, being toxic as fuck. But all that shit has been reversed. Yeah, the feds watching they ass. The feds is watching they weird ass. Yeah, even on your worst days, you killing them. Period. <laughs> we have she's delusional. So this could be, this could be a karmic, uh, this could be a karmic parent. Like so, it could be your karmic mother. It could be a karmic sister, brother. Um, I'm, I also heard an aunt or an uncle. Or wait. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Flip it in place and put it where it goes. Reverse the energies. It could be a divine masculine or feminine. And or it could be a feminine operating in masculine energy and vice versa. But this person is delusional as fuck. And the feds watching they ass. While they sitting here straddling the f fence sending magic your way all right and trying to blackmail and um they're trying to fucking blackmail count clout chase and fucking uh sabotage you and your endeavors because they know that you're the truth they know that you're you're the fucking star they know that you're going to be very successful like this shit don't make no sense all right um crystals for protection all right we have dishonest uh oh uh oh Ooh, child we have maybe you should reach out yeah so a lot of you have been con contemplating reaching out to your person and here is your confirmation maybe you should reach out but for a lot of you divine feminines y'all uh y'all i don't know maybe you should reach out if you feel like something is really wrong with this person and you just really want to check on this person and then if they ghost you again or if they don't respond then you're like okay i tried you know but take it where it resonates you know 
do do what your heart guides you to do all right exactly confirmation karmic sister extremely jealous of the divine feminine exactly because you want to be the divine feminine but you can't you need to learn to be yourself you need to stop trying to imitate other people and their energy and you need to learn to be yourself you cannot be other people you have to be yourself you have to learn to embrace and embody who you were called to be all right so this is why this karmic sister take it where it resonates it can also be a brother cousin brother uh, cousin brother aunt uncle grandma i don't know mother father i don't know but for this specific uh, reading it is a karmic sister who is extremely jealous of the divine feminine and or the divine masculine yeah like learn to be yourself you cannot harness or harvest the divine feminine's energy like the divine feminine is too protected like what did you think exactly karmic lesson all these motherfuckers was karmic lessons anyways money hungry scammers they're money hungry as fuck but they don't even know how to manage money. And then they thought that they, that sending black managed magic towards your money. They thought that um, sending poverty spells and other type of black magic curses your way. They thought that, that was going to stop something. But bitch, it's been fucking reverse. All right. The divine feminine is about to be boss of motherfuck up this year. Y'all ain't even going to be able to fucking stand it. For real. The, exactly. Play your role. That's all the divine feminine has been doing is playing her motherfucking role exactly so we have deep regret behind something they did to you or about something that happened to you years ago so this could be your person's energy this is also some more truth again the overall energy was authenticity truth release and pamper so yeah so your person this could be something your person did to you or something that happened to you behind this person they definitely feel like deeply regret full of behind it okay play your role came out again okay yeah these motherfuckers is stuck on stupid you can't convince sense with these idiots i'm dead ass like what the fuck mm. yeah we have masculine energy obsessing over you this could be karmic and this could also be this could be karmic masculine energy as well as um your person, your divine masculine is obsessing over you, obsessively watching you. Um, I just, <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this, but oh my, I have to say it. There is somebody that is obsessively masturbating to you, divine feminine. Yep, they obsessively mas masturbate to you. Like anytime they think of you, anytime they watch you, they see you on social media or just something like any memory that pops up in their head, any type of nostalgia that comes up, they just start just bop, going to work, you know, over you, all over you and vice versa. All right, masculines, you got some, you got some divine fibs out there that's, you know, handling that at the thought of you. So anyway, wondering if this is all in my head. All right. Yeah, they're wondering if this twin flame connection that they feel and know is really true in their heart. Now they're questioning their head like, wait, is this really is this really real? You know, is this my real twin flame? All right. We have you checking for me, though. So this could be your energy towards your haters. Like, look, you check it for me, though. Thirty three. Thirty three was just on the clock. Like you are checking, though. You can't run from me. This could be your person's energy letting you know, look, you, you can't run from me, girl. They think you're running from them. They could still be dealing with some sort of ego problems. All right. You are being divinely guided to trust in your um, intuition in this situation. All right. There is an a there is an enabler. Perhaps someone enabled this karmic sister. Maybe there was a narcissistic parent who bred a karmic sister, another narcissistic entity in the family. Um, and now this person takes, they have ego problems, they're dishonest and takes out their pain onto you. All right, uh, your person is willing to, well, they're I mean, well, willing to lose out on a star. Yeah, their ego problems is gonna cause them to lose out on a star, period. You know? All right, we have an uncle. So an uncle is significant here. Um, hmm.
these narcs act like you owe them something. Exactly, blocked. This could be these karmic entities, uh, these karmic sisters, brothers, cousins, uncles, uh, aunts. Okay. I think you're going to sit here and enable the ass or sit here and, um, you know, cater to the ass when you're sitting back minding your own damn business. Minding my own business, not worried about yours, leaving yours alone. <laughs> you just like, look, try me, bitch. Try me. Try me. A lot of y'all has just really been in that energy. Like, look, a lot of y'all have been awakening so fast. Y'all have been advancing. Y'all have been activating. Spiritually, y'all like, look, I want somebody to try me. I want somebody to try me today. Like, for real. All right, this ain't way back then. Way back when, bitch. This is, this is fucking 2022. Oh, <laughs> March will be a significant start for major breakthroughs. There is your confirmation. March will be a significant start for major breakthroughs. So it may start off a little rocky. It may have um, for some of you, okay? But don't think that that's how the rest of your month is going to go. <laughs> if you believe that's how the rest of your month is going to go, that's how the rest of your month is going to go. If you know that you will, be, you will prosper in the end, you will release and let go of what no longer serves you in the end, you will be authentic, truthful, and honest with yourself, then you will be pampered, spoiled, and highly abundant by the end and, and by the um, conclusion of this month. And you will move forward in April very abundant, very peaceful, okay? Um, and having learned even more knowledge of self and applying wisdom to your life and to your journey. Okay, anything else? Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it here. So we have game over. Yeah, game over. It's time to stop playing with yourself. It's time to stop sleeping on yourself. Speak your truth. All right, speak your truth. Be authentic. All right, even if it, that means standing alone. Everyone is following the crowd and you're the only one going the opposite way, taking the path less traveled, you know. But yes, it is game over. Okay, March is going to be the beginning of something beautiful. Even, like I said, if the month kind of started off rocky, if maybe yesterday was a bad day for you, maybe if the day before was a bad day, just know that the rest of the month will not be bad at all. All right? So if you guys enjoyed this reading, I did not mean for it to go on so long. I, I just, sometimes I get so, I get so into it. I just, just go off, y'all. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed the reading, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, divine timing, we are rising. And I am checking out. Peace and love.